Um, I wanted to show in this video on how to assign um, the motor R61 uh, MIDI control keyboard, uh, especially the faders, how to assign them to the XR18 um, mixer. So basically to start with, um, let's see on how the different channels uh, of the XR uh, are remote controllable. Um, so, uh, as you can see on page 31 of the user manual, um, we see here uh, that we can have uh, program changes on one from 1 to 64 on channel 1 to change actually the snapshot, so it means uh, we can then change the different scenes. Uh, and then on the second line here, we see that uh, the CH fader, the uh, channel faders, uh, are supposed to be remote um, controlled using a CC, so command uh, or uh, controller number 0 to 15 on channel 1 for the input channels 1 to 16. So basically that means that we have to assign um, the faders uh, 1 to 8 and then 9 to 16 to the controller number 0 to 15 on channel 1 to control actually uh, the channels of the XR18. Um, there's no um, editor software for the Motor 61 so the only way to do that is actually to do it manually but as you will see, it's pretty straightforward to do that. Um, once you have set up one of the sliders, uh, you can kind of use it uh, for the next slider without changing a lot of things. So how do we do that? Well, I hope you can see that on the, on the display. We have to go to Global and then MIDI, Confirm MIDI, and then we go to um, change control so now the motor is waiting us to move a slider so I will move slider number one and as you can see um, the fader one is automatically selected so I continue now and as you can see I can as first uh, choose if I want this uh, controller number or this slider to be um, assigned to uh, only the MIDI, the DIN MIDI or the USB MIDI um, if I want for example the sliders only to be controlled on the MIDI which is actually how it is connected uh, the XR18 is connected from the MIDI out um, to the MIDI in of the XR16 uh, 18 and from the uh, MIDI in to the MIDI out. So there is a both way uh, connection from the keyboard from the a motor to the XR18. And um, so basically here to answer this question MIDI could be enough um, but it doesn't really matter so for for the moment I will just do uh, MIDI um, and then you see you have the MIDI channel 1 so again looking at the MIDI implementation chart on, third, on page 31 we see that we need channel 1 so we keep that one here and then <coughs> you have the CC number so 0 is for channel 1 or fader 1 so fader 1 uh, CC number 0 is correct so basically it's always one less than the fader number um, and because I have already an assignment um, he asked me if I want to override that and that's what I'm gonna do yes and now I have to actually set the minimal and maximum values of the sliders so I could restrict uh, the, uh, the CC value uh, f if I didn't want to have the full range of my slider being sent to my XR18 so that's probably not what I want so I confirmed that and uh, I also set now the 
the ending value, so the maximum value, which we, I want to do on 127. So now I'm going to send 0 way down with the slider to 127, um, way up on channel 1. So that's basically it. And as you can see, change success. Uh, so I changed the first slider. The interesting thing now is because there's no editor software is that if I want to assign the next slider, um, I just press forward and then he's waiting for the second slider. So I'm moving the second slider. Um, as you can see, pattern number two. So now the interesting thing is I have just to go uh, again, MIDI, that's okay. Channel one is okay. And here I ha just have to add one um, because now the fader 2, according again to the implementation chart, uh, is uh, supposed to be controlled. Control. Uh, so fader 2 is supposed to control um, MIDI control number 1, which corresponds to the channel 2 on the XR18. So be careful there not to mix up stuff. But basically you can just kind of subtract 2 uh, one and, and and one from from whatever fader you have selected and and uh, assign this to the CC number and then you're good to go the next step is then again that he wants to ensure that I want to write whatever I had already assigned to it I say yes and then zero is my minimum value 127 is my next value okay so change success I'm have now assigned the second side. And now the cool thing is I can continue and basically I just kind of count the number of presses I have to do and where I have to basically really change something. So I continue, I take the fader three and then I go one, two, which is the MIDI, so I don't change, so I go three. And then here I add one, three, fader three, sends control number two, four, actually, X or uh, channel strip 3 and then I continue and so on and I'm ready so if I count down the number I can up to the success I go continue take the next slider and now you can do that really fast by just kind of systematically count so I continue now with uh, 3 1 2 3 I assign control 3 1 2 3 4 change success. I continue, fader 5, 1, 2, 3, control 4, that's the only thing I have to change, 1, 2, 3, 4, success. Forward, channel 6, or fader 6, 1, 2, 3, assigned to control 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth. So I continue that um, up to the 8 faders, I will uh, skip that. Um, and now, once I have done that, I change my bank. So I change here the fader bank to 9. Um, and then I, I start um, again. So, waiting. Okay, 9, 1, 2, 3. Assign 8. 1, 2, 3, 4. Forward. Fade 10. 1, 2, 3, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4. Success, forward, and so on and so forth. Okay, so now, having assigned that, you can now see that whenever I move a slider, I move my slider also in my uh, XR18 app. And the same if I grab um, here one of the slide uh, faders you can see that my motor fader is um, moving also um, interesting enough the channel 1 and 2 as you can see are actually uh, channels that are coupled as stereo uh, linked um, as you can see um, and now if I move one or the other you see that the the signal of the second slider is actually also mocked or copied on the other slider so these two are um, together 
if I want to control channels 9 to 16 um, as you can see now I uh, now moving channel 10 uh, I don't see moving my slider why because actually uh, I have to change here my bank so if I go to bank 2 now when I move my um, 10 you see that 9 10 so 9 is here 10 is here 11 is here and so on so that's how you assign actually um, the sliders or the faders to your XR18 uh, channel faders and uh, just for the sake of it if you continue uh, as we have seen on on this one here is that after 15 you have um, 16 which is actually the um, aux input uh, the stereo input 15 and 16 which is uh, actually for playback of uh, um, you know some kind of uh, mp3 player or whatever um, so if I change once more my bank let's go back to, to my uh, XR so if I change again my, ba my, my bank uh, if now I move here to my aux In 16 and then if I change the bank here I see my aux channels my stereo aux which is my special channel and if I continue then uh, I'm gonna move here my send or returns of the of the effects um, which are assigned to the next sliders here okay so everything perfect now especially Concerning this one here, this is a master fader. Um, again, if we look back to this one, we see that uh, main fader is assigned to 31. So what I did is the uh, same as I did for fader 1 to 8 and 9 to 16, uh, 17 to 24 and so on and so forth. I assigned fader 9 to this control number 31. And this one is then uh, always kept uh, through the banks to um, channel 31. So that's, uh, that's a neat thing to, to know. You can then change the banks, um, but the uh, slider, yeah, if I change the bank, you know, I can, I can, to see really, I go back uh, 9 to 16 way, way down and then 1 to 8 way up let's do that okay so now if I change but you see that my slider my master slider is not moving because it's not moved uh, this one the F5-9 is, is uh, keeping uh, its number 9 despite of the bank changes so that's how you can assign uh, the master, which is very important. And in the on the motor, this one is a specific slider. So that's very nice because you can then assign the master, uh, the main output to, to this one and change then the, the channels as you wish. Okay, this concludes now this video about connecting the um, XR18 of Behringer the digital mixer with the <coughs> motor from Behringer also with uh, motorized faders so remember that you need to have a MIDI so a five pin connector going both ways from the in to the out and from the out to the in of each of the devices you cannot do that with USB or something like that <coughs> once you have connected this MIDI then uh, you can apply this video I hope you learned something and you, that you enjoyed this video. If you do, please feel free to press the thumbs up button and uh, don't uh, forget to uh, subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm looking forward to see your comments. Thanks a lot and see you soon.